would you consider yourself a magician? Mm, a shapeshifter of sorts? Even maybe a human chameleon? No? Well, have you ever paid really close attention to the details around you, like the people there, what they're wearing, how they're speaking, and even the reason for the space that you're in, like if you're in a classroom, that's for learning, in a dining room, usually for eating, and in a movie theater for watching a movie. Well, if you pay attention to all of these things, you might be doing a little bit more of shape-shifting work than you realize. So imagine if the way that you speak, dress, even move your body down to the little details, if that all together is like a uniform for how you should act in a particular situation, Maybe you don't like the idea of uniforms. I get it. What if I told you that wearing this uniform meant that people might hear you more clearly? What if I told you that while wearing this uniform, people might be kinder to you than if you weren't wearing it? And then, what if I told you that wearing this uniform, people would think that you're smarter? than if you weren't wearing the uniform. Does the uniform idea sound like a little bit better now? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Thankfully, you'll be able to wear the same uniform in some situations, but in many situations, you're going to have to change different parts of the uniform. Um, you might even have to change your uniform entirely from one situation to the next, and this change might need to be as quick as a snap of a finger, and uh, you're expected to do it. So by 9 a.m. in your homeroom class in school, you might still be feeling pretty energized because maybe you're still on your very first uniform that you left home with. So you've got energy and you're ready to go. So you might be a little confused when you look over at your friend who's got a lot less energy than you already. Well, because they're already on their third uniform change for the day. So you might ask now, how is this possible? Both my friend and I just started our school day. Well, friends, this adaptive skill is what scholars of language like to call code switching all this uniform changing that we all do throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout our lives. This is an adaptive way to get what you want and sometimes even what you need from the situation that you're in and from the people around you. But this is not all positive. As our friend can demonstrate for us, all of this uniform changing it comes at a cost. It's definitely not for free. So let's talk a bit about this finesse and the cost of code switching. See you in class.